Have you picked your pony yet? The Iowa caucuses are just a week away, and the endorsements are rolling out full force with a few surprises out there. Along with some liberal rags, Bernie Sanders has received the endorsement of MoveOn.org, the organization founded to help people move on from Bill Clinton's rape crimes and Hillary's cover-up efforts of those crimes in the 90s. And depending on which poll you look at, Bernie is enjoying about an eight-point lead over Hillary. On the Republican side, Donald Trump picked up a huge endorsement in former Alaska governor and vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. Are you ready to stump for Trump? You ready for a commander-in-chief who will let our warriors do their job? Doggone right we're angry. Justifiably so. Are you ready to make America great again? That endorsement propelled Trump ahead of Texas Senator Ted Cruz and into the lead in Iowa. Rhino Lindsey Graham has thrown his entire fraction of a percent behind Rhino Jeb. We're going to give Jeb Bush the momentum that he needs and deserves to win the nomination. And to the Republican Party, Jeb Bush is going to be the nominee that can win an election that is a party we can't afford to lose. No surprise there. Jeb has managed to put on a clinic on how to spend $50 million and run a campaign into the ground. Cruz has picked up endorsements from several strong conservatives. Along with the support of Glenn Beck, former Texas Governor Rick Perry has endorsed Cruz. Ted Cruz, he came to Round Top, Texas, spent a day with me. What I found was an individual who, probably one of the best listeners I've ever been engaged with on the political front. And I am convinced, without a doubt, that on day one, uh, this very committed conservative American will be ready to be commander in chief. And Family Values champion, Duck Dynasty's Phil Robertson, has also endorsed Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is my man. He fits the bill. He's godly. He loves us. He's the man for the job. I'm voting for him. So next week, the fun begins, and then we move on to New Hampshire. With any luck, we'll finally start significantly narrowing down the GOP field. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.